So Russian and Eurasian affairs analyst Dr Anna uh, Matviva uh, joins with me now in the studio, actually, and human rights campaigner and director of uh, um, Peter Tatchell Foundation, Peter Tatchell. Very appropriate, actually, really. Uh, joins us down the line. Thank you very much, both of you. So, uh, I'll start with you, Anna. What, what do you make of this, then, really? Because a lot of people are saying this is an absolute outrage. Well, first, participation in a foreign war out of your own volition and rather than on the orders of your own state mm. is a risky business. So, one of the outcomes would be that you can be killed, one or that you can be wounded, or you can be captured and put on trial. Mm. So, that was not something which... Uh, was factored in by these individuals when they decided to participate in this military action. And it is f quite clear that in the legislation in this country, it's not something which was supposed to happen. Mm. Secondly, from the uh, Russian point of view, certainly they would want now the, to make it as uncomfortable for the British government mm. as possible. And what they would want to do for the British government to put pressure on their nationals in Ukraine, because a few hundred of them are fighting still on the front lines or not, and to make these people return not to have that kind of difficult diplomatic situation in future. Mm. Okay. That's the outcome. OK, Peter, I will throw it over to you. You obviously heard what Anna had to say there. What's your take on it? Well, very clearly, these men are not mercenaries. They were signed in as members of the Ukrainian military. So they have the full protection of the Geneva Conventions, which means that unless they have committed war crimes, they cannot be charged and sentenced. Now, there's no evidence that we've heard of that either of these men have committed any war crime. They have not killed civilians. They have not attacked civilian targets like hospitals or uh, churches or other, other places, protected places under the Geneva Convention. So the charges have no substance. And it's very clear that Russia is using their case in a bid to put pressure on Western authorities, um, firstly, to try and get a prisoner exchange, and secondly, to try and pressure all those existing mm. foreign fighters who are enlisted in the military in Ukraine to get them to withdraw out of fear that they too could face capture and execution.